Hi everyone, uh, we'll try to identify the preparation plan for last three months for data interpretation, AR and LR section for CAT 2015. Uh, I'm sure everybody is aware that from this year onwards, data interpretation, AR and LR will be a standalone section and having 60 minutes of dedicated time for this section. This can be a good news for a lot of people because uh, since till last year, till CAT 2014, data interpretation used to be a part of quantitative aptitude, whereas AR, LR used to be a part of verbal ability and RC as a section. This section more or less, if we go by the standards of last couple of years CAT, uh, should be really scoring, but what happens with this section is that a lot of people, a lot of students try to neglect it till the last moment. Now this is something which you must not be doing at this stage. Last three months, we need to identify five to six areas on which we need to work at this stage and be prepared for the day of CAT. First being the level of exposure that you need in DI based questions. Typically we prepare for bar graph, pie chart, line graph, but most of the time the question that are being asked in CAT are the mixed graphs where you will have multiple applications or multiple data sets that is uh, uh, tables uh, club with bar graph or maybe tables club with pie chart as well as line chart. So there will be multiple set of informations asked uh, no, given to you and you would, you would be required to comprehend multiple uh, datas and try to answer the question. Now with mixed type of questions, uh, generally the time taken per question increases because there are a lot of uh, data to comprehend. So this is where we need to work on at this stage. Second is working on the puzzles which are of the nature uh, 4 by 4 or 5 by 5. So when I say 4 by 4, that means we have 4 set of information so for 4 different people. Say uh, 4 people A, B, C, D, they visit 4 different towns, they go in 4 different cars and they uh, are wearing 4 different color of clothes. Okay, So such 4 parameters for 4 different people. Or uh, we have seen that in uh, previous CAT, the level of difficulty can go high when the parameters increases from 4 to 5 and the number of people or the uh, no, uh, num, uh, objects to be arranged are also 5. So the uh, sets become uh, slightly time consuming in nature. And we will have to address this problem uh, by practicing such type of question at this stage. Third is understanding non-MCQ type of questions and how to handle those questions. Fourth is taking the help of online calculator. When should you use calculator and when you should not use calculator. Now coming to the first uh, challenge that we have in front of us that is identifying mixed questions. Now typically mixed questions is the set of multiple data that you come across generally in sports based or game based questions. These are very less as far as quantum of practice is concerned, but our problem is not the quantum of practice, our problem is the analysis and discussion after the set has been solved. So I request all of you to focus on analysis and discussion rather than just solving, just running after the quantity of questions. Uh, second identifying the 4 by 4 and 5 by 5 type of sets in arrangements and puzzles because these are the most likely questions to be asked on the day of CAT. Third, now let us try to understand what will be the non-MCQ type of questions be like. So typically in a DI question where you are required to select the best choice or the most appropriate option, we generally tend to uh, approximate or we try to eliminate the choices. But in case you come across a non-MCQ question, you will have to uh, understand what level of calculations are they expecting. Are they expecting calculation up to second decimal, third decimal or a single decimal? In such cases, uh, if the calculations are required to be done very precisely, I would recommend you to use the non, an online calculator. In most of the questions where you have multiple choices, I doubt you will be required to use calculator, but that does not mean you will uh, not utilize. At this point of time, our focus should be on comprehending the various type of questions, understanding the nature of question, understanding the uh, how to correlate different data given to you and not purely on calculation because we have online calculator available this year. So on such type of questions, 
you should be using online calculators. The fourth point is to set your daily agenda in place. Now, at this stage, uh, most of the students ignore practicing DI or AR based questions, but in case you want to master this and this is, please understand this will be a really high scoring section. Uh, the average number of attempts, if, if you look at the you know, level of difficulty of last couple of years, average number of attempts in DI has been, for all good performing students has been around 12 out of 16 and same is the case with AR also, it is around 11, 12 out of 16. So, if we assume the level of difficulty to continue this year, average number of attempts will be somewhere close to 23, 24 out of 32, 33 questions. And in case you are looking at scoring really high, you should be looking at around attempting 28 to 29 questions out of 30 to 33 questions. For that, one thing is for sure, you will have to start building up speed. Second thing, you will have to start practicing at least 3 to 4 sets per day. On an average, around 15 to 20 sets per week or around good quality 12 to 15 sets, but followed by a rigorous analysis uh, and discussion on the uh, correct and incorrect answers. Uh, I hope the information was helpful to you. Thank you very much and all the best.